Hello everyone and welcome to this Groovy Geometry Tutorial series. In this particular tutorial, we will learn conditional execution of the API calls. So let's begin. When you're working on the Geometry, there are so many scenarios where you need to execute the API based on the condition. Now, let's take an example where you need to execute a dashboard API based on the successful execution of the login API. Now, there is a condition. The condition is that when we have a successful login, then execute the dashboard API. Now, we need to handle these scenarios using the Groovy scripting. And for this particular tutorial, I will be using this request.in APIs. And let me show you. Let's scroll down. And here we have this login API. And it will return us a token. So, we need to verify that, okay, either we can go with the status code or we can uh, go with the token for example if the token has been written then in that case we need to execute the other api so we will pick any other api for example a single user so we will hit the single user api when there is a successful login in case we have retrieved the successful token okay now uh, just go to the gmeter in gmeter what we need to do is that just go to this test plan right click add threads thread group inside this add sampler http request let me name it as login api uh, i have already written the details in the notepad so let me go here so this is https this is the host so this is the server name or ip and this is https this is the post call and the path is basically slash api slash login so copy this one go back provide this path over here go to the body and so this is the body just copy this body from here go back paste it over here now this body is the json so we need to tell the gmeter that this is the json type okay for that what we need to do is that go to the thread group right click add then we need to go to the config element then http header manager now we will add this header let's move this up and here we need to add content type is equals to application slash json okay so provide the name then the value and the value is basically application slash json copy this one paste this one and now let's add a listener and run this one this is a login which is successful and in the response we are getting this token okay now this api is working absolutely fine now what we need to do is that we need to add a groovy script to check if the token is returned okay so for that what i need to do is that after the login api basically once after hitting the login API, I need a post processor, post processor JSR 223 sampler where I will be writing this particular script. Okay. So now, but before that, what I need to do is that I need to, you know, extract this token. Okay. So for this, okay. So for this, I will say add post processors, JSON extractor. And this will be after the login API. And once the token has been extracted, then I will be using a Groovy to check token and set the flag. Okay, so let's go step by step, and we will also be using the if controller in this one. So what I'll do is that once I have this one, so simply here we need to provide the name of the variable. So I will say it's auth underscore token. And here we need to provide an expression so simply color dot token. And now, uh, what we need to do is that we need to write a groovy script. Okay, so after this, we need to add, add sampler, not sampler post processors, JSR223 post processor. And after this one. Here we need to write a code. So we say def token is equals to wars dot get and what we need to get is basically auth underscore token. 
auth underscore token because we have defined this over here okay so auth underscore token now i will be going with the if condition so if token then here log log info i will say login successful and then i will say token received okay and then if the token has been received then i need to put this token okay so wars dot put and here i am creating one more uh, you know flag so execute user detail api okay and here is basically true okay and once we are done with this then we need to go with the else body here as well okay so this is the if if this if you know if api doesn't return the token then what else okay then else and this is the else body over here and then i will say log.info login failed no token received okay so i will say this one we need to close close i will say login uh unsuccessful and no token received and now in this case i don't want to put right so in this case here this statement will be actually false so i don't want to put this one okay so so basically here set flag to skip user detail api so basically we are skipping over here okay and we are setting a flag to execute the api okay once uh, we have uh, done this one now we need a loop controller okay so i will go with the uh, you know if controller for this one so we'll go to the thread group go to the logic controller then we have this if controller and after this one we have this if controller and here uh, what we need to do is that we say dollar and we need to pass this one okay because we are setting this equals to true in case the token has been received right so i will say this one is equals to, if this equals to true okay then you need to go to the other api call uh, execute the other api now the other api which is a user api needs to be inside this loop controller so basically under this one go to this one go to http request now here we need for the specific user api specific user api and let's go to the my notepad and this is the details so let's go there and let me copy the basic information from here because this would remain same and write this over here then request in go here provide over here and then api slash api slash user slash to copy this one go back and provide this over here okay now what happens is that let me remove this from here and add this on the test plan level okay so right click over here add then listener users free okay now what we need to do is that we have extracted the token but we haven't passed that token to the other api okay so here let's add a uh, http header over for this one so let me copy this one and paste it over here for this particular api and 
we don't need this particular one what we need is that we need uh, we need the authorization okay so i might have written this over here okay no so simply authorization is equals to bearer and dollar sign and here we need to pass auth underscore token now let's run this one and see what happens so simply run this one and go to view results tree and strangely we have seen only login ebay here right so in the response we are getting token but the execution of this api didn't happen now what we need to do is that we need to debug this one so just go to thread group and go to add go to sampler add debug sampler and now just run this again and see what happens so let's go to the debug sampler and we can see that we are getting the auth token which is correct and execute user detail api is equals to true so this means that this particular block of code is working fine which is the if statement so eventually we concluded that there's some problem with the if controller okay so now we need to fix this one i have already written the correct um uh, you know expression for this one so let's go to here so this is the correct expression for this one and go back and paste it over here okay now uh save this one clean this one and run this one again and this time you see that this api got executed successfully right and now we need to ensure that our script is working fine or not so i will intentionally you know try to fail this one so that this api should not get executed okay so i will go to this login api and let me change it over here so let me say two three and save this one clean this one and run this one okay so now you see that only login epa got successful and in the response we are not getting the token and you know the reason why we go with the token not the status code so if i go here so basically this is a request so this is a response over here the, the, the request is fine right it's actually creating the user okay so that's why always choose a something which will actually help you with the condition okay thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial